The goddess Hecate of ancient Greek religion and myth is a mysterious, shadowy figure. She appears in only a handful of myths, and little is known about who she is. But she remains one of the most influential of the ancient Greek deities with a popularity that continues to grow. Even today, Hecate and her symbols are revered within neo-pagan and Wiccan groups. So who is this goddess, and what is her wheel? Let's take a closer look. Hecate's origins are somewhat unclear. While she is often associated with ancient Greek religion, her worship may have pre-Greek roots. Over time, her roles and attributes evolved and expanded. She became the goddess of magic, crossroads, the moon, necromancy, and the underworld. She's often depicted in triplicate form, symbolizing her aspects as maiden, mother, and crone, or her dominion over the earth, sea, and sky. Hecate is associated with liminal or transitional spaces places that are in between. This is why she rules over crossroads, doorways, and the boundary between life and death. These transitional areas are inherently mysterious, as they are neither here nor there, neither one thing nor another. She also has a strong association with witchcraft, spells, and other mystical practices, which further underscores her mysterious aura. She has links to the underworld, and her role as a guide for souls and sometimes, as an attendant to Persephone, place her in a realm that is inherently enigmatic to the living. In ancient times, statues of Hecate were often placed at city gates, the entrances of homes, and at crossroads. Known as Hecatea, these were believed to bring protection and invoke the goddess' favor. Offerings, often called Hecate's suppers, were left at crossroads for the goddess. They commonly included food items, but were left out as a form of protection and to appease wandering spirits. But compared to most Greek deities, there are only a few myths involving Hecate. Perhaps her most famous myth is the abduction of Persephone. When Hades kidnapped Persephone and took her to the underworld, it was Hecate who heard her cries and helped Demeter Persephone's mother search for her. After Persephone's eventual return from the underworld for part of the year, Hecate became her close companion and sometimes served as her attendant or torch-bearing guide in the underworld. While her presence in Greek mythology isn't as extensive as that of some other gods and goddesses, where she does appear, Hecate often has a significant and transformative impact. One of the symbols associated with Hecate is the strophalos, or Hecate's wheel. It's probably her most famous symbol and is unique to her. Hecate's wheel is a visual representation of the triple goddess, consisting of a visual maze with three distinct worlds that are connected in the center. The Strophalos is mentioned in the ancient Greek magical text known as the Chaldean Oracles, a set of teachings and hymns that were influential in late Hellenistic religion and Neoplatonism. Some believe that Hecate's wheel features a serpent twisting around a central point, representing rebirth and renewal, and that the three sections within the wheel represent Hecate's triple aspect, maiden, mother, and crone. Alternatively, they can signify her dominion over earth, sea, and sky. This triadic nature emphasizes her role in various life cycles, transitions, and transformations, but you could also view the maze-like design of the wheel to be symbolic of spiritual evolution or the meandering journey of the soul seeking enlightenment. Hecate's wheel is also associated with protection, particularly in magical and spiritual contexts. It is believed to offer a shield against negative energies and to provide a connection to the divine feminine energy represented by Hecate. In certain groups, the wheel is used as a conduit in rituals, providing practitioners a tangible link to Hecate's energy. It aids in focusing intentions, especially during rituals related to divination, moon magic, and shadow work. When the Strophalos is whirled over the heads of devotees, it creates a hum that the causes an altered state of awareness, and some believe that it drives predators away. For many contemporary worshippers, Hecate's wheel serves as an affirmation of feminine power, wisdom, and cyclical nature of life. The revival of pagan and neo-pagan movements, especially Wicca, in the late 20th and early 21st centuries has contributed significantly to Hecate's resurgence. 
Within these traditions, there's a strong emphasis on the divine feminine, the cycles of the moon, and witchcraft, all aspects associated with Hecate. Her contemporary interpretations often draw on her older, more mysterious aspects, further emphasizing her role as a deity of deep, hidden knowledge. What's more, Hecate's wheel has been adopted by many in neo-pagan communities as a symbol of her guidance through life's challenges. Modern practitioners often invoke Hecate in rituals. Her symbols, including the strophalos, are used in these rituals to connect with her energy and seek her guidance and protection. So there you have it, a brief overview of Hecate and her most arcane symbol, the strophalos. Hecate stands as a timeless symbol of life's mysteries. Her legacy, tied to crossroads and the phases of the moon, continues to inspire introspection. Hecate's wheel, a representation of ongoing cycles and change, offers a simple reminder. Even in uncertainty, there are guiding symbols and stories from the past that can help light our way forward. If we miss anything, let us know in the comments below. And if you found this content useful, please do us a favor and like and subscribe to our channel. Share the video with someone you think might be interested in this topic. It helps our channel grow so we can continue making more videos like this. Thanks for watching.